Man, 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 see I need, need your love. See I need your love. Me need you close to me. Uh, uh. Bad energy, stay far away. Make you stay far away. <laughs> Alright, y'all ready for this? Good looking cooking, you know what it is, man. You know what it is. <laughs> Wait, is this what we're doing now? Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Boom. Let's do this. And today's ingredients. Alright, so Ovi, we got these sexy little chicken drumsticks, these crunchy carrots, these uh, parkour potatoes. Pa pow! Pa pow! I don't know why I say that. Um, we got some butter, some garlic cloves. But all I'm saying yeah, is that this one's gonna be special. Best believe that. Sanka, you're a dead man. Yeah, man. <laughs> we got some Levi roots, jerk seasoning. We got some chicken seasoning, some garlic and herb seasoning, uh, hot chili powder, and some mixed herbs. Oh man, I'm dead. What's up, Al Jawad? My brother, is that you sitting in the back there? <laughs> As you can tell, we're gonna have a lot of fun in this one. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Everyone's sitting at home right now, pump it up. Yeah, I don't care if it's on your phone or on the TV, on YouTube, whatever, pump it up. Come have a little biggie with me. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, so I know you lot were enjoying that, but we're gonna have to get good looking cooking now. Alright, so start off by washing everything. So your, your potatoes, your carrots, your chicken mainly. Alright, and then we're gonna start peeling everything. So we're gonna start off with the potatoes and then we're gonna do the carrots. Alright, and so then we're gonna whack on the oven to about 180, 200. And then you wanna just drizzle some, uh, some olive oil onto the chicken. Uh, and just give it a little mix around. Imagine, I went all the way up to the Himalaya mountains just to get this salt. And you can't even subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do me a favour, mate. And my bro, Al Jawada, better known as The Plug, actually smuggles in all of these peppers and spices just for me to show you guys. I don't think you actually appreciate the struggle, you know. All right, so anyway, we're gonna chuck in some levy roots jerk seasoning. Followed by some chicken seasoning. Then we're gonna add in some garlic and herb seasoning. <laughs> some hot wok chili pepper. You just probably thought I was going to stop here, but you're wrong. Not going to lie, looking back at it, I could have probably done with more chilies. So if you like your jerk chicken with extra spicy and whatnot, uh, I'd probably recommend adding a lot more than that. All right, and then lastly, we're going to add in some mixed herbs. And then just give all of that a nice little shake around, proper shake and bake, boom. And this is how they should be looking, covered. All right, and then you want to just spread some aluminium foil over the bacon tray. Now, when you're putting the drumsticks onto the onto the uh, tray, you want to start, you know, lifting up the skin. If it's like drooping down, you just want to lift it up. Uh, otherwise, it will just I don't know. It won't, it won't look as good later on. Look at all those ticking. <laughs> all right, so um. We're just gonna like slot these garlic cloves underneath and then just spread some oil over them. So chuck in some salt and a splash of oil into the saucepan uh, for the potatoes. Potatoes! And then we're just gonna chop up the potatoes into maybe like quarters or so just to make them cook quicker. And then we're gonna do the same with the carrots. Uh, we're just gonna chop. We're gonna chop the tips. Just a tip. <laughs> if you know where that's from, yeah, you're a real G, honestly. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to bring the chicken out of the uh, out of the oven. Might as well give them a flip around while you've got them out. Um, and then we're going to add the carrots. Uh, just place them around the tray, if anything. And then from here, we can start drizzling with olive oil. 
and just add some uh, some salt and some pepper to them just for a bit of flavouring bit of seasoning and then once that's all done you can chuck them into the oven for about 15-20 minutes or so so checking up on our potatoes uh, they should look like this um, they should be ready to mash soon so you want to empty them out into the colander um, and then we can leave them for about five minutes just to rest so whilst you're waiting for everything to cook you could uh you know you could chill out and maybe have a drink and give yourself alcohol poisoning or you could smoke tobacco and give yourself cancer or you know you could uh, maybe gamble and lose all your money because i mean you know all of these things are legal right or you know you could be a criminal and do a hundred years in prison for smoking a little herb I don't know, I'll let you choose. <laughs> God damn. Anywho, speaking of herbs, we're gonna chop up some parsley to chuck into the uh, mashed potato. And then you wanna add some butter. Some butter. Oh, American accents, man. Cringy. Uh, you wanna add some milk. <laughs> Shout out to all the Yankees, by the way. Sorry, guys, but you do have a fairly horrible accent. Anyway, you wanna add some garlic granules. <laughs> If you have any. <laughs> and then finally you can chuck in your parsley. Now, if you're having a bad day or you're annoyed with the new coronavirus rules or the girl you've been speaking to lately ends up liking another guy because you're too broke to take her out and you spend all your time making stupid videos of you cooking for other people that don't even care about you, then this is the perfect way to take out all your aggression. <sighs> oh, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Anyway, after having a little mini breakdown, you're going to add in some salt and pepper. So after 15 or 20 minutes, we can finally bring them out of the oven. So as my secret ingredient, I have to include some Abisto ah, sauce. <laughs> so for those that don't know about Abisto ah, gravy sauce, this is like the most Hangers thing ever all my days honestly it's so good so essentially you just pour the gravy granules into the cup um, and pour in hot water bit by bit and give it a stir whilst you're doing it until it looks like this all right let's start plating this bad boy up starting with the mash and then we're going to place the carrots on top of the mash looking like the union jack for some reason i don't know why and then once you've placed the chicken down you can pour all of that lovely gravy all over oh look at that ah oh, got it cheese <laughs> there you have it is julia's jerk chicken with mashed potato carrots and gravy sauce Oh yeah, god damn, that's good looking cooking, mate. Not gonna lie, the flavors in this one were immense. Oh my god, it tasted so good. Can't even lie to you. Bro. Hey yo, I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did eating it. So let me know what you guys think. Would appreciate the feedback. But anyway, peace out, y'all.